Welcome to another Saturday Fix It where we look for things that are broken in the house and fix them or we look for something that is not useful and we create something useful from it. So what are we going to be doing today on Saturday Fix It? We're going to be using our old smartphone battery and we're going to combine it with this power bank motherboard and all we need now is a wire and just solder them together. Is that easy? I'm going to guide you through the process and I believe that <laughs> you probably enjoy doing this okay welcome back again to smart depot before we jump in into me so it the question is why would you do this why would you not buy a power bank now look behind me there is a guitar behind me uh, i cannot take a very big power bank like this and stick at the back of that guitar it may fall off and it might damage some things for me so what do i do i can use this old battery Take this power bank board, connect them together, stick it at the back of that guitar and it will be giving me light. Now, what makes it even more interesting that this battery has been serving me for almost uh, two years now. The battery was made in 2014. I don't know whether you can see it. It was made in May 2014. That's when it was manufactured. And this is 10 years later. It's still kicking strong. It can give me light on that guitar for over five hours. And whatever I'm recording, I'll be able to record it effectively and uh, gives me that good background. Of course, I'm going to show you more of the uses why I use this, but secondly, the form factor, the quality, and also we are helping Mother Nature out in terms of recycling things instead of dumping refuse and waste everywhere. So let's go in and I'll show you that. For some of you who are asking, why do I do such projects? I mean, for 26 cents, you can get yourself a power bank motherboard and you hook up with your old smartphone batteries and you have yourself a power bank. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look at that and, and that's what i want to show you so i've been using this one before and the cable cord so i want to soda it and i want to show you how simple and easy it is all you need to do is to get a lead a soldering iron and that's just all and an average person can do this you know so you know you have to put enough lead on the contact of the battery to make sure that it doesn't come off quickly so make the contact head you know the cable to be you know well touched with lead so i'm going to clear the lead old lead that is on this one and i'm going to apply fresh one to make sure that it is you know very 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 good and once that is done i have fresh lead on the contact fresh lead on the wire i'm going to soda it and i also always like to have lead on the soldering iron so that you know the joining will be very 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 smooth so once you tap the negative here the boards are clearly written negative and positive so don't mix it up if you bridge it some of the cheaper ones don't have a uh, bridge protection so they were just born so make sure you follow the polarity negative to negative and i even used red and black cable so it becomes easy for you to identify that the battery is at 62 percent and soldering the terminal this battery is difficult so that's why i have to use aradite gum to hold it so that you know it's not easily pulling out uh, if it pulls out from the end of the board i can easily solder that uh, so that's that so i also added a usb type c you know port to this one you know by manually <laughs> finding the points on the board where there is negative and there where there is positive uh, so this particular board doesn't have USB-C plug-in so I gave it so the other ones I used to have USB-C uh, charging a port a way you can just charge and also use power delivery but this one doesn't have the USB-C power delivery charging so yeah let's test it <laughs> uh, let me show you that there's power in this is at zero zero watts so let's plug it in and see if it is charging the in light will be blinking yeah so you see it now it's charging and let me test the one it came with the micro usb unfortunately this one doesn't have usb-c inputs but i have other ones that have usb-c inputs so it's charging both from the micro usb and from the, our constructed usb-c so let's see whether it will power our led light of course it has to be led light you know so it's powering our led light and if you look now if the out light is showing at the top and the led light is on so yeah of on is powering the led light so yeah it is working so it's not pretty but with just two dollar 
you can have yourself um, a USB. So this one has a USB-C uh, port, but it's not L LCD display. Uh, so I don't like those ones that are not LCD display. I use it to put in uh, LED lights in back of my guitar, hang it somewhere, and it gives it that proper ambient, good background. I can use different types. I have different types of <laughs> lithium battery that I can use and connect it. And um, this one, even my smartphone battery lasts more than this one. So yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. So make sure you subscribe, like, share that's it i hope you enjoyed our saturday fix it um this power bank is good i use it from time to time very solid but there are places i just want to stick in something that could be this tiny and you can see the form factor and you can see the form factor you can see the size if you're going to do tech you're definitely going to have a lot of led lights and some of them require you to just light them you know with dc power um and this is where this thing comes in handy so um stop throwing away some of your old smartphone you can pull out the battery and then maybe dispose other things then use the battery to do something like this if you have the need of course you can share this video like with anybody who can find this useful and also do you know drop your comment in the comment section i'll try my best to answer you and until i see you in the next video it is peace to our world subscribe i'll see you Oh